Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to Oh Fucus and Me. I appreciate you guys for being here with me today. It is Tuesday, February the 21st, 2023. It's 11.26 p.m. And I am getting to you guys finally after a very interesting day. So I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are... um staying safe and warm. I live in California and the headlines on one of the uh, like news feeds, you know, it said most of Californians to uh, or most Californians should expect snow or something like that. Like, what? Yeah. That's crazy. So, it was really, really, really windy. So, I appreciate you guys for being here with me. I'm going to use these um, Star Code Astro Oracles today because of the new moon. And um, the moon right now, or when I looked earlier, um, it said that the moon was in Aquarius and the sun was in Aquarius. So, very interesting. Maybe that's why it was super windy. But however the case, I hope you guys are all great, and I appreciate you guys, all of you guys, for being here with me today, helping me in this channel grow and advance. I appreciate you guys so very much. So I hope you guys um, enjoy the read. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what type of energy we have today. Let's see what we get. I just got off the phone with my brother, and that guy is something interesting. He has relationship issues, like, all the time. <laughs> and he tells me about them, and I try to give advice. <laughs> And I just trip out on the levels of uh, the nonsense that he goes through with these individuals on the opposite end of things. <laughs> One more time. All right, here we go. Let's see what card comes out today. Fourth house and transit. I'm going to keep them both. We have the number 42 and the number 55. 7 and 10. One talks about home and the other talks about climate. Interesting because I was talking about the weather. <clears throat> so, let's find it. Excuse me. All right. So we have here fourth house first, and it says, if your chart were a village map, the fourth house would be your home base. Our early home life impacts our sense of sanctuary and how we bring things to conclusion. It says action. Come home and make it a sanctuary. Create a place to renew and to live an intimate authentic life. Home is an emotional space more than a physical address, but both matter. In the practical realm, it may be time to renovate, reorganize, or move in the physical realm, or to negotiate boundaries with a roommate. Create a home that feels safe and renewing at the end of the day where you are truly off stage so you can drop your guard and refill your wells. The fourth house also speaks of ex existential, 
X X is oh my god, I don't know how to pronounce this word. Exiential X has been a while. It's like I see it, but I can't I can't pronounce it right now. <clears throat> Hold on a second. Essential? I don't know how to say this. Hold on. Existential. Existential. Oh, I'm looking at it like uh, I see an IS there, but okay. Ex is existential. Existential. So it means relating to existence. Ex existential. 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 Okay, guys. Right. See, this is just English, I'm telling you. Okay. So, existential. The fourth house also speaks of existential homesickness. Of a longing for a home you've never had. If you don't have a map from childhood to create sanctuary, make one. Be ready to do the next layer of therapy or tend to some work around farm family karma. Think about how you would like to have been parented rather than how you were parented and use that as a model for self-care. In the spiritual realm, build or visualize a meditation place a portable sanctuary that can be home to your spiritual practice. Explore the quiet depths of your meditation. Drop down to your heart, to your center of gravity, and renew your connection to the earth beneath, the sky above, and spirit within. If you're asking about a project, check that it is well situated. Make sure the people involved feel safe and have a healthy work-life balance. On all these levels, develop a healthy approach to bring a project to conclusion. Know when to stop. So it says challenge. Let your home be a sanctuary that helps you prepare to deal with the world, not a place in which you hide from the world. Ooh, I like that. A, a very nice base. Okay. Okay. And number 55 here. It says. Transits. Okay. So it says here. The planets are always moving through time and space. Always spinning around us. When those planets form geometric relationships to one another. They create transits, the astrological weather conditions of the day that affect us all. When a moving planet forms a geometric relationship to a planet in your natal chart, that transiting planet can act like a guest who enters your home, sits in your kitchen, or sprawls in your living room. It activates that part of your existence. If that transiting planet talks to your Mars, it activates your warrior nature and fight and fight or flight response. If it talks to your moon, it initiates a story centered around your home, your family, and how you nurture yourself. Action. This situation is in flux and the surrounding conditions are changing. Stay alert aware, and be ready to respond to incoming dangers and opportunities. Some people are moving in, others are leaving, new opportunities open, and old chapters close. Listen to the grapevine for changes in personnel or economic conditions. You are not in control of these elements, but you can make the most of these changes and dance with fate. People that walk into your life now may be karmically important. Either the relationship will last a long time or it may be short. Pythi and teach Pythi and teach you a valuable lesson. 
it can be helpful at this point to look at the transits in your natal chart. There is no volume control on this card's energy. Transits may trigger a small change in the personnel around you, or it could signal a shooting star that blazes across your life and turns your direction entirely. You have choices, though. Ask for grace and guidance when responding to the changing circumstances. It says here, challenge, excuse me. Wild cards are in play. You are not in control of who and what now brushes your life. And that can be scary. So, planets are moving. Things are changing. And, um... <laughs> I was about to say, you have no control over it. I mean, you do to a certain extent if you want to allow it, okay? It's kind of like, yeah, you we flow with the way the wind blows, but at the same time, it's like, well, the wind could be kind of strong. You're going to let it knock you down, though, you know? So it's all about choice still at the end of the day, too, you know? So just know which way... The, Things are moving, and if you want to move in that direction, you know, staying grounded and not letting things affect you too much, too wildly, <laughs> you know. So let's get it now, guys. Let's go to these uh, index cards. Let's see what we can get here. And this here story. Okay, this is the last portion here. Thank you for being patient while I go through these here. All right, so let's get this party started. Okay, so your home, things could change drastically. Getting your home in a space where it feels like a sanctuary. Uh, looking at the way that you were raised and, you know, maybe wanting to alter or adjust some things about how you are going to maybe 
raise your own children or something like that. Or things that were done in the home that, you know, uh, maybe you don't like or something like that. You know, I'm just saying, like, maybe like the... Uh, I don't know, like animals or something in the house, or you know, maybe you're like, oh no, no animals in the house. They need to be outside. You know, just I don't. Who knows? I don't know. Everybody's different. Or you know, the way you know, like your cleanliness or something like that. I'm not saying anything about anyone, but you know, maybe you know, like um. Like, my mom, she didn't really like to clean like that, you know? And I'm just being honest, you know? And um, she just didn't. And I'm just opposite. I'm like a clean freak, you know? Like, I, it's not like I clean, like, all the time, but I want things to be clean, you know? I can't deal with certain things, you know? So, um, you know, everybody's different. So just make sure that it's a sanctuary, a place where you feel, you know, peace and, you know, uh, solace, comfort. And like I said, a place where you can get away from the world, but not hide from the world. Like if you can go home and say, okay, X, Y, Z happened, you know, I'm going to breathe about it, pray about it, you know. And uh, get over it. One more time. Something is uh, worth the wait. That's nice. You know, sometimes we get tired of waiting, but <laughs> if it's worth the wait, that's that's a beautiful thing. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Next set here. One more time. They are regretful. And I was sitting here thinking, like, what I was saying. Like, I, I don't, I'm not trying to, like, make it seem like my mom was a, a filthy person. No, she wasn't. I, I just think that she got tired of cleaning up after you know, children, teenagers, you know, just got tired of it. And maybe that's all I kind of remember was just, you know, she just, like, she keep her bathroom clean, but then, like, the re in the kitchen, you know, like, but, like, the rest of the house, she wouldn't, like, go wipe down couches and stuff like that. That's what I mean, you know? And it's just like, okay, you know, you got to clean this stuff off, you know, wipe it down every once in a while. But she was like, mm -mm, who's coming over here? <laughs> like, oh my gosh. So then I started doing it. And it's like almost like, you know, probably what she was waiting on anyway. Who else is going to clean up, you know? <laughs> so, oh, I don't know. But however the case, you know. You're doing and changing something about your home life or with your home in itself, you know, or you're locating, relocating or something like that. One more time. All 
Okay, so it has here online dating. It may not be the way. Maybe. Keyword, maybe. I'm not knocking anybody's way of doing anything. Never that. It's just, you know, sometimes you know, think about it. I say, what the heck is going on here, you know? Well, maybe that's just not the way to do it. If you keep meeting duds or whatever. All right. First card out. I have OG status. Original gangster. You know what you're doing. How to do it. Okay. I ask no questions. All right. <laughs> Phil say do be 100%. All right, someone is yearning for you or you're yearning for someone else. She likes white chocolate men. Too good to be true. Well, we had that yesterday. It is weighing heavy on your mind. They are a traitor. Mm. Your money's looking good, honey. That's awesome. It's okay to cry. Yes, it is. You're a workaholic. <laughs> oh, your money is on point. All right. Two times. Not to be trusted. Oh. Mm. Music in me. I'm sorry. <laughs> music in me. You love music. Maybe you drive a Mercedes Benz or you would like to purchase a Mercedes. Only time will tell. <laughs> tell me if you still care about me. That's the SOS man. Follow your instincts first and foremost. Oh, maybe you drive a Jaguar or a Porsche. And new diet for new you. Stay healthy. Someone is not your usual type. You love salads. Cease any confusion. Put it to an end. Halt. Stop. Not today. Not tomorrow. It's over. It's done. <laughs> you're about to take off. Get ready to soar. Maybe you're a customer service representative. It was in the making. This was all planned. You are a true professional. Don't resist the process. <clears throat> Maybe you're about to go on a road trip. Are you like taking road trips? Maybe you're a caretaker. Smooth sailing from here. History is your favorite subject or was in school or something like that. Maybe you still like learning about history. <clears throat> God made it happen. Continue. Exactly. It was all in his perfect plan. That was planned already. Leave it in the past. Next. Maybe someone's from China, watching from China or would like to go to China. Catch the sunrise. Beautiful start to the day. Evolve. You are evolving. Go buy yourself a crystal. Someone's name starts with the letter X. Live. Be in the now. Someone's feelings are fragile. Go within for the answer. He wants to take you out on a real date. And uh, you're a night owl. All right. So <laughs> I'm going to head and take these again because we had a moon that's fairly in the new beginnings of its you know, process, day two. So, 
All right. Appreciate you guys for being here. Here's the first deck. So, OG status you are. Maybe drive a Mercedes Benz or a Jaguar or a Porsche. Maybe you're from China. Watching from China or would like to go to China. All right. Someone's not your usual type. Maybe you're a caretaker. Okay. Something's too good to be true. Your money's looking good. Money's on point. You're a workaholic. Okay. God made it happen that way. Continue. It was all in the making. It was planned. History is your favorite subject. She likes white chocolate. Man, he wants to take you out on a real date. You're evolving. Someone's yearning. It's okay to cry. When you love salad, cease any confusion. You're about to take off. Get ready to soar. Something's weighing heavy on your mind. Something's too good to be true. Follow your instincts. Music and me. You love music. You're a true professional. Someone has fragile feelings. Live, be in the now. Someone's name starts with the letter X. It's smooth sailing from here. Buy yourself a crystal. Feel, say, do, be 100%. Someone's a traitor not to be trusted. Okay, maybe you're on a road trip. Like to take a road trip. Only time will tell. Tell me if you still care about me. Don't resist the process. You're a night owl. And a new diet for a new you. Go with them for the answer. All right. Here we go. One more time. Oh, a brand new beginning. That's beautiful. Follow your instincts. Money's on point. New job adventure or something like that. Um, not, I'm not too sure. Only time will tell. <laughs> All right. Something is about to take off. You're about to evolve and blow up. Money's looking good. Money's on point. Customer service representative. Nine of Wands in the reverse. First card out. Okay. So uh, there's no need for you to feel like you need to uh, protect yourself or, you know, woe is me energy or nothing like that. Um, you're OG. You're just moving along with life, you know. Um, you're a workaholic. That's what you do. That's what you've been doing. And you're you're on a roll. Okay, smooth sailing from here. You're living and being in the now. There's nothing that you need to, you know, protect yourself from or, you know, uh, like I said, what was me? Look, look at, you know, my past and, you know, oh, it was so shady and look where I'm at now. No, nothing like that. No need to protect yourself. Anything like that. No. Seven of Cups next. So uh, that is options. Or we're talking about uh, be three things, three different things. Okay. You have options in love. You have one particular cup that has a heart in it that you're worried and concerned about. So why... She likes, excuse me, she likes white chocolate, man, yearning, something too good to be true. He wants to take you on a real date. Maybe you only see this one person. Okay. Um, you're evolving, you know. Um, maybe you never date outside your race or something like that. I don't know. Um, so it's either those two or the last one, you know, um, just relationships, just people, you know. Like it says here, like you're a caretaker, something like that. Uh, maybe like traveling, you have a road trip, you know. Um, buy a crystal, maybe you're into crystals. Just different things that you like. Okay. Music, you know. So I'm, I'm not too sure here. But however the case, you enjoy it, whatever it is. Okay. Whether it's the things that you love or this one person or you having options. 
uh, and right now you're fulfilled in the space of emotions or whether it be with a person you have too good to be true yesterday you had that read too so it was like you know because um too good to be true right um i remember it has something to do with love i guess because like i can't remember exactly but i think it was something to the degree of yeah, like you evolved or something like that. And then you, you came across this person. Oh, it was a godsend, right? So, mm, I don't know if it's a continuation from yesterday. But, um, however the case, like I said, um, you don't feel like you need to protect yourself from anything or anybody or you know felt like you've had a hard background you know you're, you're just you're used to that okay so here with the six of wands you're successful people see that you're successful okay you're a workaholic this is what you do okay you're about to take off and be even more successful you have the ace of pentacles first card remember so here you have seven of swords so maybe be careful of some snakes in the grass or something like that on your rise to the top, okay? Uh, it says you got a traitor out here. You got a traitor and not to be trusted. They're a traitor. So you don't need to protect yourself because you're an OG. You've been through a whole lot of different things. You know, you see, you see the snakes in the grass before they even decide to slither over to you you know you're like i feel the snake in the grass you know you've already been through like many things i'm imagining for you to not feel like you know woe is me you know look where i'm at you know all this hard work that i've done so here you have the ten of swords coming out so, it could be something that you're doing. So, ten of swords, negative thinking about, and thinking, hangman, thinking. So, negativity, negative thinking, negative things that have happened. Like I said, this seven of cups, it could have been something in terms of the things that you like to do, okay? Follow your instinct, you're a true professional, you know, you, you like music. You're a workaholic, you know, like you do different things. And I don't know this person, maybe they worked with you or they saw you on a come up or something like that. Um, and it says that you're about to take off. And maybe, you know, um, this person was the snake in the grass trying to get you some type of way or do something to you and here you're in your head thinking about this process and it says here don't resist the process so it's something that you're involved with and you and you really love it okay and you've been sitting here thinking about um You've been thinking about this process. Okay. And I don't even think this has anything to do with this, this person or this snake or anything like that. It's just, um, I don't know. Maybe they decided to go work with somebody else, you know. Um, and maybe they were semi-important to your process or something like that, you know, because so, they, they said that they were a traitor. So let's just say for some, say for instance, something like, um, they were your accountant or something, you know, kept real close eye on your money because you're on a blow up. So they knew or something like that. And then out of nowhere, like, they just 
stopped working for you and went to go work for someone else and just left you and you didn't know what was going on and threw you upside down. And, you know, you had to try to go find someone else, trust someone else and, you know, do like a distraction or something like that to throw you off or something. I mean, that my analogies and my examples may not be the best, but it's just like the first thing that comes to my mind and me trying to hurry up and still get the readout. So, you know, like, I don't know what position they held, um, but they did something and turned on you and kind of caused a, a riff in your flow, if, if that kind of makes sense. So then maybe you thought, gosh, you know, this is like one of my best projects, this person left. So maybe they did have something to do with why you're starting to negatively think about how this process is going. But I don't think that you should be worried, you know, because you're an OG, you will figure it out. You will uh you will be okay something's weighing heavy on your mind yeah the hangman will follow your instincts whatever it's telling you you know so here with the wheel of fortune in reverse underneath the nine of cups that's talking about being fulfilled. Um, and the will of fortune is like things that are flowing in your favor. So maybe right now, you know, right, like with this person trading and doing whatever they're doing. But here with the intuition card, follow your instinct. It's like, you know what you have to do. Because you, like I said, you're OG. You didn't evolve to this level. You didn't got here. You've been through different things already. It was just like a distraction. Like done on purpose, you know, to try to get you out of the flow of something, you know, to stop your fortune, you know, with the will of fortune in reverse, but it's not going to stop your fortune, you know, it just kind of paused it for a second, you know, it just paused it, that's all, that's all it did, you know, and um, that's unfortunate to them, it's going to be woe is me for them in a minute. So yeah, it's the person that you're working with. Someone that you worked with or decided to work with, um, they turned on you in some type of way. And whatever job they did was significant to your process. Yeah, they're really trying to slow your Ten of Pentacles down. And they thought, you know, well, if I do this, I'll throw a monkey wrench in, in their... Um, throw a monkey wrench in, in their process. They won't be able to survive without me. They don't know what they're doing. They'll never find anybody as good as me or whatever, however, whatever. But you also have this here to a cup situation that I guess is why you're fulfilled. Like someone is helping you balance out on the other end. You have someone that you can maybe go home to and rely on and talk to, you know, that's your support system you know, and not hide from your situation, but know how to deal with your situation, okay? Yeah, because this thing, this project, this person, it really did fall apart, but only for a short amount of time, you know. I don't know, they were maybe your business partner, but that doesn't make any sense, really, if they were your business partner, because that means that they saw how it was about to blow up. That means that they're not going to get any of it unless they felt that the show really couldn't go on without them. You know, like they felt they were that high and mighty and, you know, like it, the whole project was their idea or something like that. Okay. Well, however the case, you're definitely resting in on this here with the hangman and the four swords you're taking the time and you know you're 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 like okay i see where you tried to stab me but i'm i'm you can't even get to me i'm like deep down in this little hut thing you you're not gonna hurt me you're not gonna get to me i'm just gonna sit here i want to think you know i'm gonna be fulfilled with my relationship and not let that get to me uh, and, and affect me in different areas and all this and just work it out and uh, do what I have to do. Yeah, and stay balanced. 
And this person that you're with is helping you stay balanced. Oh, look at there, Queen of Cups. She's helping you stay balanced. You see, yesterday it was the King of Cups, right? So this Queen of Cups is helping you stay balanced on this here journey of life. So let's take the journey deck next. Appreciate you guys for being here with me. If you're still here with me, thank you so very much. I appreciate you guys. So here we go. Second day. Let's uh, see what comes out with these cards. So basically what I see is, you know, you're a, you're a hustler, you know what I'm saying? You work every day, you about your business, you know. And you've been through many things before. Like I said, you smell the snake. You don't need to see the snake. And you felt something was up. You have a high intuition. You, something was going awkward, maybe with his behavior, something. And when he did what he did, you're like, oh, okay. I see your play. You didn't let that get to you. You went and talked to your love. You know, maybe she gave you some good advice. You pondered on it, whatever, whatever. It paused your process. It paused, it paused your, your, your project. But it didn't, it didn't dissolve it. You know what I'm saying? So, no. This person didn't have that much power as they thought that they did. Now, you know, once you, uh, once you do or once you did figure out the solution and got back on the ball, it's a wrap. They're here, your ten of pentacles is about to come, but they really were trying to slow all that down, you know. It's like they work for you instead of really with you, like a business partner, because a business partner sees that what's about to happen, they ain't not about to. I mean, I don't know, let me not say that, because it could be that situation, you know. Like, I'm just about to stop the show right here and go off and do this by myself. Okay. So, mm -hmm. the hermit. So, the light from within, the light from above, you know, is shining down on you, you know, taking time, reflecting, you know, going within. You know, spending time by self in this resting space, you know, allowing you, allowing your, your thoughts and things to process so you can really feel what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so you can understand your next moves clearly and see what's going on clearly, you know, maybe even, yes, praying, talking to God, you know helping asking for strength to keep you balanced at this time because you were like almost there and then this person did that shady move you know but you're so professional you're such a OG you're not gonna let anybody get to you this person don't even see what's coming your money is still gonna come <laughs> ah, that's their problem you know, they could have been getting it right there, hand in hand. Like, you would have looked out for that person. And, you know, I don't know. Maybe they didn't think that you would look out for them like that. You know? So, here with the Eight of Pentacles. And maybe it pushed you to work a little bit harder. Maybe it pushed you to do something or learn something new. The things that they were doing, maybe. Maybe you didn't even need them. <laughs> Saved you some money. You know? Mm. So, yeah, it's like they walked away. You walked away from just even being concerned about that whole scenario. You know. Wow. It was in the making. It was all planned. <clears throat> Three of Wands. It's like they didn't see how blessed they were going to be, you know? They just saw, like, oh, you, you know, like you were going to be selfish or something, you know? 
Like, dude, like, I get paid, you get paid too. Like, you, you're part of the team. You know, but I guess they didn't see it like that. They didn't see the vision. You know, so causing you to re strategize, recalibrate, you know, all that there. You know, make sure that your steps and things are calculated, the people that you're working with now, you know, before you start back full fledged attacking this um, here project that you have going on. Yeah, so here are five of pentacles. They thought that they that's what they were going to do to you. They thought that they were going to leave you in a space of lack. Like you couldn't learn. You know what I'm saying? And like you couldn't get the wine and figure out what they were doing. You know, you picked up that wine. You said, I'm going to find, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to do, I'm going to learn a new skill or a new task or something like that. And this show must go on. It's going to continue to go on. You know, so. Wow. All right. Last day, guys. I appreciate you guys for being here with me. Come back and rock with me anytime. I'm here doing daily reads for you here on A Few Bits and Me. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, please. And thank you. And of course, only if you like. I appreciate it all so very much. It is 12, 12 a.m. now. And it's the 22nd now. But I'll do the read for today. Later. <laughs> tomorrow or well, it's not tomorrow later today seems like tomorrow i'm still up so yeah however the case appreciate you guys let's see what this last deck tells us so i can wrap it up and uh get some rest one more time. Well, actually, I need to read my Bible a little bit and then get some rest. Okay. So here, I believe this is the, um, is this the hangman? It is the hangman. Yeah. I mean, duh. I, uh, I hate He's literally hanging. Poor guy. So, um, yeah. And deep thought. Hanging there. And it's like he tried to sacrifice you. You know what I mean? Like, to hang out to dry. You know, and it's like, huh, that's what you think, you know, like where he really wanted to leave you out in the cold. He's someone to not trust anymore, you know. And here you have the Eight of Blades, which is the Eight of Swords. So, and it says they're at the bottom captive. So, it was it was really almost like, wow. Like, you're amazed maybe that you didn't smell the snake before you started working with him, you know? Like, wow, how did I miss this one, you know? He was so accurate. He was so this. He was so that, you know? He played the part just, you know, maybe he turned on you. Maybe he really wasn't like that when you first started working with him. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't see any type of towers coming with this person. That's twice. You had it one up right now. You have it in reverse. Oh. And now you have the world in reverse. So, like, like with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, you know, this project got halted. It's at a set a halt, hmm. or not a halt, like a complete stop. Excuse me. It's more like at a uh, just a standstill right now. It's pause, okay. And with the world in reverse, 
like I said, this project is, is not, it's not over. It's not complete. You're not wrapping anything up. Okay, it's just pause right now. And then you get back to it, you know, and your world will continue and your world will take off also after that. And then after all of that said and done, you can look at your life and and look at it from a, a, a grander perspective, you know, and and say, wow, my life, you know, I really am balanced, you know, look at where, where I was at, look where I'm at now and look where I'm trying to, where I'm trying to go, you know, not where I'm trying to go, where I am going. So here, you have the Ten of Pentacles again, falling right here next to it. So, the, that Ten of Pentacles is, is really something that you're trying to, to accomplish. You know, you really want this will for you, yourself, your children, children, and so on and so forth. So you not having it right now is something that is um is another motivation. It's for you to keep moving forward. Okay. But you're almost there. You know, it's gonna be something <sighs> that was the six of cups. Huh. We always get that card too. I'm not taking anything that's on the floor anymore. So anyway, that'd be funny if it was the Six of Cups again. But no, it's the um, the Queen of um, Pentacles. So maybe this here love of yours, the Queen of Cups, is also Queen of Pentacles, and maybe she'll be. Maybe she'll come in and work with you. Maybe she already had, you know, may, I don't know. But this Ten of Pentacles that you don't have at this moment and with this particular project is important to you and how you move forward. So, yeah, maybe that Ace of Pentacles is this one person that wants to work with you because you're so professional. It may not be the Queen of Cups. It may be a, 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 uh, someone that sees you that wants to give you opportunity or wants to work with you or fund you or something like that. I'm not too sure. So then you have here um, the is this the page of cups? I believe this is the yeah the page of cups. So at the bottom is page of cups. Like yeah, page of cups and a page of wands. So um, you're moving in in the right in this slow. You have the Knight of Pentacles. You're moving in a very, like a, a slower pace now due to the fact that you lost this individual. And, uh, excuse me, maybe you're just trying your best to, um, you know, still, still give it, stay balanced, still give it time, still give it love and so on and so forth, not getting too worked up about it, you know, and, um, yeah. But just continuing because you know that it's important for you to keep going with this project. Don't give up. Whatever you do, don't do not do that. Okay. So um, good luck to you. And uh, you got this, Sophie. Just take care. I will talk to y'all when I talk to you. See you later.